What's up guys? It's Megan. Welcome back to my channel and to another day of Vlogmas. Today we are doing a DIY of <sighs> some people are worth melting for this Dollar Tree DIY ornament. I'm super excited about it because I think it's like one of the cutest things ever. So if you have someone that loves Frozen in your life or you yourself love Frozen or you just love Olaf, this ornament is for you. It's super easy to make. So let's just have into the DIY. So I used this ornament that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, it's one of the larger ones for a dollar, you could get two for a dollar, and I also used some of these little berries that came with my artificial um, greenery, two sticks from outside, some orange glitter craft foam, and some artificial snow um, from the Dollar Tree. Then I am taking some white acrylic paint, I'm just pouring it into the very bottom, swirling it around a little bit because I like to have a base of snow. And um, then I'm going to pour in some of my artificial snow, some of the sparkly snow from the Dollar Tree. And I just want to cover a good chunk of the bottom so that my snow will stick to this. Next I rolled up a piece of construction paper, you could use any paper to make a makeshift funnel if you don't have one that you use specifically for crafts. And then I'm using some of that sparkly uh, artificial snow from the Dollar Tree and just coating the bottom of it. And then I'm going to also add in some of those tiny tiny snow ones. Um, this was particularly small as opposed to some of the larger ones that I've found, um, so I just poured these ones in as well. After making a mess I put my two sticks in there um, I ended up taking some of the snow out at the end because I had just had too much in there for people to see my sticks um, so just you know it depends on how much you want to put in there then I'm taking two cuts of this uh, glitter craft foam and then I glue them together using my tiny hot glue gun and this is gonna be Olaf's nose you could use any sort of craft foam or any if you have fabric you want to use but I would just really like the glitter craft foam I'm taking those two little berries that I had from my artificial greenery I just got this from Joann's and then I painted them black and then I am gonna throw them in there with the rest of my frozen not so frozen Olaf Next, I'm using my Cricut to do the Some People Are Worth Melting For. I'm going to highlight it all, attach those letters together so they cut as one single cut instead of one, two, three, four, five, six different letter or words and all across crazy. Um, if you don't have a Cricut or die cutting machine, you can always use paint markers or paint this on or any way that you want to do it. I just find it to be really easy using the Cricut and it's, you know, obviously very professional looking. Um, but you could do it any way that you want to do it. I also love to paint things onto ornaments as well. But here you see me weeding my uh, little, some people are worth melting for. And uh, I like using a lint roller to help uh, catch my little pieces um, because they literally just fly everywhere. And I'm taking my transfer tape, I'm making sure that that's on there. And then I put little slits around my uh, whole saying on the transfer tape so that when you're putting it on something round, it will adhere better and it will curve to the actual curve of the ornament. And I put the top back on and I found some orange and white tie um, to use to hang my ornament. And then I'm also taking one of the tiny green bows. They come in, I think, of a set of 10 from the Dollar Tree. And I wanted to glue that on the front of that as well just to add a little bit more cuteness and I don't know I like it I really enjoy how this turned out I actually made one for Jossum over on his channel if you guys want to go check that out and yeah this is super easy super quick and I love it guys so so much for watching it means so much to me I know that we're getting towards the end of vlogmas and there's so much content out there that you guys could be watching so it means so much to me that you are watching my video let me know if you guys are enjoying the DIYs I plan to do a lot more DIYs come the new year because it's something that I realized I really really miss doing I really miss doing DIYs it's one of my favorite things to do because I love to make things um, so let me know what you'd want to see come the new year and things in the future because I'm really excited to do DIYs but uh, we're we're getting towards the end of vlogmas and I, I can't believe it's almost over but I will see you guys tomorrow for another video have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you all real soon bye <laughs>